At Spice, we set out to create a new style of restaurant. We wanted to bring amazing meals to people at a more affordable price point. Each meal is made to order in three minutes or less, starting at $7.50. When we were four MIT students, we couldn't really find a, a decent meal at an affordable price point. As robotics-obsessed engineers, we set out to create a new, efficient way of cooking food. From our humble starts in our fraternity basement, uh, we developed a prototype that really sort of proved we could build something that can create delicious, high-quality meals. Our woks cook by constantly tumbling your food, which provides a really nice and even sear. They're heated with induction, and we have temperature control to uh, perfectly cook your meal every time. When we had the robotics nailed down, we knew we needed some culinary excellence to really bring this restaurant concept to life. I'd heard of Danielle. I knew that he was one of the top chefs in the world. And I decided to try to guess his email address. A few weeks later, I got a response. Receiving uh, this note from Michael, I was curious. A robotic kitchen was something who puzzled me a little bit. I discovered that the robotic kitchen brings precision, consistency, taste, and also freshness to the preparation. Spice was created to be affordable, tasty, and nutritious. the robot and I don't know whether I want to hug it <laughs> or maybe punch it. I'm a little scared of it. <laughs> hug it. Don't be scared. You gotta hug but it. But we're here with the two founders of Spice. Michael, I'm gonna screw it up again. Farid. That's right. Oh, I did it! Yes. <laughs> and Kale, no joke, but not named after the vegetable, named after a race car driver. <laughs> Kale Rogers and everybody knows Chef Daniel. Thank you, Thank you. So let's start with Chef. Chef, I'm intimidated by that, but I cook simple food. You're not intimidated by it, you embrace it. Why did you want to work with a robot? Well, I think in the kitchen, chef, we always welcome technology. Mm -hmm. We always welcome the latest new tools. This one was very interesting when it came out. That's right, this used to be so like, oh, what is that? You know, everyone More can buy- and pestle, right. and now exactly, we have this. Right? And I've been right. always fascinated by the evolution of fast casual and how it's the uh, number one th number one money maker in the worldwide restaurant business today is fast casual exactly and mm -hmm. when michael reached me i fell in love with their with their story they were four young students at mit and they say you know we have this idea of creating a robotic kitchen but we are not chef would you ever be interested to talk to us? And of course, I went to Boston, and now the story is yours, Michael. So <laughs> let's, let's, let's get, let's get the robot let's working. Uh, explain what it. we're going to do here. Yeah, yeah. so this is, a, this is Showcase Spice. And what are we cooking today, Michael? We're cooking a Masaman Thai curry. Uh, it's one of the delicious bowls on our menu. And uh, yeah, we're excited to show you. How often you do you that. eat from your own menu? Do you guys go in and, and Probably like 14 times a week. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like every week. Okay. And so this is, this is showcase spice is what we like to call it. Showcase spice. And this Great. is how we actually get to be able to, to do different menu preparations and use the cooking here before we roll it out at the restaurant. So we can move it up, toss ingredients in. We have the cooking position. Uh, and we can even wash and clean up after itself. So it can uh, do a little wash spray I with some water. I know a lot of humans that can't wash and clean up after <laughs> themselves. That's, so it's, it's that, quite that, 